This story is a continuation in a series of publications titled It's Interesting to Know, which covers various subjects related to the metallurgy of precious metals. The second topic focuses on the history of discovery of the platinum group metals. In the beginning of the 16th century, Spanish colonists noticed a white metal, which was virtually unmeltable and very heavy. In 1737, the Spanish astronomer Antonio de Ulloa, whose interests also included other sciences, returned from his trip to South America with grey particles of river sand found in New Granada, as Colombia was called at the time. The grains had been found among the alluvial gold deposits of the Pinto River Valley. They turned out to be heavier than gold which struck a severe blow to the fundamental idea in alchemy that gold was the heaviest metal and thus the end result of alchemical transformation. Because it resembled silver, the newly discovered metal was named platina, Spanish for little silver, and it was valued below gold and silver. As counterfeiters often used platinum for their tricks with gold, people were ordered to throw platinum into the sea. Due to its high density, 21.5 grams per cubic centimeter, and being easily alloyed with gold and silver, platinum was often added to the melt to cast counterfeit coins and jewelry. When the Spanish government learned about this, they declared a war on platinum. A royal decree was issued ordering that all platinum ingots and grains mined along with the gold were to be destroyed. The first industrial items were produced from platinum in the 1770s – plates, wire, and crucibles. These were used in various industries. Palladium was discovered in 1803 by William Wollaston, an English physician and chemist, while he was analyzing crude platinum that had been brought from South America. Wollaston dissolved the ore and neutralized the acid with sodium hydroxide, precipitating platinum with ammonium chloride. He then added mercuric cyanide to the solution, with palladium cyanide formed as a result. Pure palladium was extracted from this cyanide by heating. Wollaston named it palladium after Pallas, an asteroid that had been discovered at around the same time. As he was performing these experiments, the scientist noticed another byproduct of the reactions, which stained solutions and precipitations in different colors. Wollaston suggested the name rhodium for the new element, from the Greek word rhodon, pink, because rhodium salts turn pink in solution. William Wollaston would have most likely discovered two more platinoids if he had not been overtaken by two Frenchmen, Antoine Francois de Fourcroix and Louis Nicolas Vauquelin. The work of their English colleague made them suspect that there might be another element which escaped as clouds of black smoke with a pungent smell. The name osmium, which was given later, is derived from the Greek word osme, meaning stench. However, Fourcroix and Vauquelin also called the substance ptene, from the Greek word for winged. The English chemist Smithson Tennant later discovered two related elements within ptene. Iridium, from the Greek word for rainbow, owes its name to the brightly colored solution of its salts. In 1844, Professor Karl Ernst Kloss of Kazan University carried out a detailed study of another element, which had similar properties to the other platinum metals. He named it ruthenium, after the land of Rus, since the samples had been isolated from the ore of the Ural Mountains. Thus, the name Russia was forever included in Mendeleev's periodic table. Research into the properties of the platinum group metals – ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, osmium, iridium, and platinum – continues from the 19th century to the present day. The next issue is the structure and chemical and physical properties of precious metals, a description of the crystalline metal structure. Their chemical, physical, mechanical, technological and operational properties as well as the characteristics and structural components of precious metals and their alloys.